Hello dear subscribers and viewers. Today I would be showing you how I transformed the lace pieces left from making this gorgeous gown into this gorgeous lace satellite fascinator. But before we dive into the making of the satellite fascinator, on our community post we asked what do you think we made with the material left out from sewing this gorgeous gown. And the person that got it was Patty Ian. Congratulations for getting this difficult question. You are gonna attend Fascinator Class 3 for free. Please do contact us with the reception link in the description below this video for your gift. So let's jump into today's training. So we're going to be needing our molded cap. Now this was molded with pad. If you don't know how to do that, please check the description below. Then this is our zigzag scissors. Then we have our B7000 glue. Then we have made our bias with the lace and bridal satin. Now this is the lace pieces and this is the bridal satin. So all we did was we put the bridal satin inside the lace, folded it to form a bias. Okay? Just like that. Alright then. So that's how we got this bias that we're going to be making use of. And you'll see where we'll make use of it very soon. Next thing is your hat wire which we have joined already. If you don't know how to do that, please check the description of this video. There's a video already made on that. Then this is our clothes pegs to help us glue fast. Then our electric glue gun. Then we have our Alice band, the big one, not the small one. Then scissors, normal straight scissors. And then we're going to have our ubu gun. So the first thing we do is take our uhu gum and line the edges of our molded cap. Remember if you don't know how to mold the cap with pad, pad, you can find the video link in the description below. Then the next thing you do is to take your bridal satin or whichever material you want to use to cover your mold. Now I'm making use of bridal satin and I'm going to be cutting out the piece just to the length that will enable me just flap a little bit on top of the glue. So keep watching and let's go. That cotton gave me enough time for it to dry a bit and so now I'm going to do my north, south, east and west. Can you see what I'm doing? You first of all do north, south, east and west. This enables your um, material to be smooth on your mold without having any rough edges. So the next thing you take the various parts in between the peg and start covering up. Keep watching and learning. Find the items used in making this satellite fascinator. Please do check the description below. You have your Amazon link, you have your AliExpress link and my own link. gaining value from this video so far please do give me a thumbs up click that thumbs up button below this video thank you next step in making the satellite fascinator is to get your hat wire that you have already folded together now this is 44 inches of hat wire now i'm putting my um uhu gum all around i put that cotton there so that it doesn't stain my workstation okay so you can do that if you if your workstation if you don't want to stain your workstation so i'm going to put it all over then place my lace on top of it the way i want it to appear once that's done, you turn it to the other side, okay? And now we're going to cut close to the hat wire. We're going to be cutting close to the millinery wire like so. So keep watching and learning. Okay, and this is how it is. So the next step in making our satellite fascinator is to get the bias. I told you how to make that with your lace and your bridal satin. So I'm going to be putting my oval gum on it. And putting it just way at the edge like so can you see what I'm doing so I'm going to be doing this all the way around now this is where our peg comes to play I 
I believe you must be gaining value from this training. If you are, please do click the subscribe button below this video and the bell so you get notified of any of my new upcoming videos. So you're going to be putting the bias all the way around. Okay, that done. The next thing we do is to cut off the excess material that um, came outside where we glued so i'm making use of razor blade to do that you can make use of your scissors all the way around so we are set to take the next step in our satellite fascinator and what we do is to take our ugu gum and put at the edge like you're seeing me doing okay now take note when placing this on the lace that you have already put on top of the hat wire remember we placed it closer to the edge not to the middle. You have satellite fascinators that are made with the molded um, fascinator base in the middle, but the design of this one is in at the edge, close to the edge. I actually saw it on Pinterest and I decided to make it for the client. So that is how you place it. Remember the front is what is going to be placed on the fascinator base. In this case, our molded fascinator base. So I place it like so after putting my Uhu gum around and I'm going to use my pegs to hold it down so it glues. Now remember this is one layer so it's much easier to glue us against using two layers on your hot wire. So that's it. So I'm going to allow it to dry for a bit. Then the next step is to take your razor after it had dried a bit and I'm going to cut it all the way around. Decided for it to be more durable I should sew. So I'm sewing it all the way around also taking it close to the material when I get the, to the top part. Do you understand? Close to the same place I brought out the thread, I'll take the needle back in so you, the thread is not visible on top. So I'm going to be doing this all the way around. Keep watching and learning. The next step in making this gorgeous satellite fascinator was I cut out these pieces from the lace. Can you see the pattern? So if you can cut out a pattern from your lace like that, that's fine. And I'm going to place it like this okay and i'm making use of my b7000 now because it doesn't bring out glue out so much as the b um, what do you call it the uhu gum this is perfect for it and the color also won't be seen so i'm going to be placing it all the way around like this i would glue and place them all the way around like this to give my satellite fascinator a lovely look at the top part now take note you're gluing the front part because you know it will turn the other way and the front will be on top Next step is to take your bias, matching color of course to what you're doing and we're going to put it all the way around to cover our sewings and the edges of that lace, everything, we're going to cover it with our bias. Keep watching and learning. Okay, the next step I did in making my satellite fascinator in order to beautify it the more was to cut out another lace piece that I'm going to place at the back now this one you put it at the bottom at the um underneath the lace because you're going to be placing it the other way around so the top part will show then the next thing is to i need to lift up my um the base of my fascinator so that my band would come up and it will stay well so i made use of um take um pad or interfacing or wording, whatever you called it i folded it now i'm wrapping it up with my bridal satin so that what you see underneath is the bridal satin and i'm going to place it on top at the back of the uh fascinator satellite fascinator like so so that's what i'm doing okay the next step is to get the location on where you want to place your alice band and i made use of my chalk to identify that position and i used my candle glue with my hot glue to place on that part once you're done you place it on top but of course remember i don't like just gluing or gluing at all so i'm going i just use that to get the exact position i wanted my alice band to be on the next thing i'm going to do is to sew my alice band to my satellite fascinator now remember when you're sewing on the top part you take the needle back through the side where it came out from so that your thread is not visible and always your thread should be matching so keep watching and learn let's take our gift right now so how many types of materials did i use in making this satellite fascinator do let me know in the comment section below 
Once that's done, the next step in making our satellite fascinator is to get a piece of bridal satin or the material you used folded into four at the edges and place it to cover up the sewing you have done on your Alice band like so. Now let's make our satellite translator to look more gorgeous. So we cut out some lace streamings again, some patterns from our lace, and I'm going to be using it to place some patterns on the satellite translator. I'll put it on the plain part there. You can see that, okay? So I'm going to cut out some more, okay, long ones, the same shape as the other one, and this is how I'm beautifying it just at one edge. So keep watching and learn. Oh yeah, I made use of B7000 in gluing it. You can make use of B6000. After I was done with this, I was like, hmm, it needs some more things, don't you think? So I took out stones from the same lace material and put around on the other side. And then I looked around and I noticed that it wasn't also straight. And so I used the lace streamings from the lace material and put around round two. And it turned out to this lovely satellite fascinator, or should I call lace fascinator, which was inspired by Pinterest. So Okay, so what's going to be our gift for the person that answered that question that I asked in the proceedings of this video? Mm, okay, since we're talking about satellite fascinator, yes, you're going to have fascinator class 3, 4, 3. So to win, you must state the answer first of all and also state what you're winning, which is fascinator class 3. So thanks for watching this video and check out this next video for more satellite fascinator design.